All right, let's fuck it. Let's get into it, dude. Let's just get into it. All right, fuck it, dude. Let's let's see these winners win, dude. So we got Udyr against Lee Sim, boys. The thing with Lee Sin and Wummy Ones is that he has infinite Omni Vamp and, and he has got he started a life steal item. And in the queue, they both got level six. Lee Sin's level six is far more stronger than Young Tyros. Young Tyros keep it a humble dude. But this Lee Sin's got his fucking big cock on his wave right now. He's the wave is so much in Lee Sin's favor, it's insane. Will he take that, dude? That's the real question. He took it. Nice flash by Tyro coming out there. Nice flash. And then Lee Sin sadly will just Omni Vamp all of his health back. I think with Udyr, though, is you can't base. He has no mana. I wonder if he took mana He did take mana flow ban. So he can slowly regenerate some some uh, mana, but not enough for Lee Sin's energy regeneration and his shields. I see Udyr went with phase rush. We can do the easy, quick trades to get out, but you just can't get away from Lee Sin. It's a fucking blind man, right? What do you think about Robin taking those cues back and forth for it? I think he's just going to slowly whittle them down, or? I think you're right. They both have such great wave clear, too. Especially with young Tyro with the Phoenix stand. Tyro's run out of mana, man. That mana flow band does not keep up. Ty Robin's getting low, though. I mean. Oh, and he hits the fucking Q with the. Spicing up, dude. He got that mana flow band proc. He's back in business. He's back in business. He's got two stacks on his Phoenix. Third one's coming up now. Nice damage on that one. Stunned. And the minion wave taking some minion damage. He took fleet footwork. I was wondering where that heal and speed came from. Good choice. Good choice. Lane aggression and fucking just survivability with that fleet footwork. Robin just gets the full health so fast. Oh, man. You just can't defeat a Lee Sin like that. You just... It's going to be a CS game. We got 73 Udi Earth, 68 Robin. You might... It might be a CS win. Who wants to see it come down to that, though, huh? Let's do that cube minion. Oh. Nice flash by Tyro. Will he die? Nope. Tyro's alive. 72 CS Robin, 79 Tyro. So it's looking up to be a CS victory, it's looking like. They both wasted both sums and ults. Land of the Q. He won't take that. They're both even with HP right now. 805 Udyr, 815, 817. Land the Q on the minion, that's bad for Robin, very bad for Proc the Phaedros, gets that extra Proc Phoenix dance, walks away. Yeah. Robin, you gotta do something now, you're... Robin's four CS away from losing the game. Will Tyro take the CS victory? Shit! Four CS, Tyro needs to win this fucking game! Three more, two... Two more CS, Tyro! And it's over. Tyro takes the CS victory over Robin. So Robin, how, what do you feel about him going over the CS for the CS victory, man? Uh, it's a little unlucky, but you know, fine. It was a it was a decent fight, man. Decent fight. I mean, you yeah. both picked Omni Vamp healing fucking prick champions <laughs> that just fucking sat there fucking AoE -like waves the entire time. But it was decent fighting, though. You know. Yeah, definitely had to uh, you know, press the advantage early on. I think. Yeah. Because uh, with the durability patch, with everyone getting like more health and armor per level, it makes it really hard to actually end a fight once you get past like level 10. Yeah, it's like the burst is kind of taken out from the bulkiness from base stats now, so it's kind of hard. It's kind of yeah. rough for that to yeah. happen. Anything you want to say? Any condolences or anything? What oh, no. I mean, with? it was a good game. It was a good game. That's all I got to say. All right, man. All right. Sounds good. All right, man. It was nice talking to you. Good luck on your next event fighting. i meet yourself, Tyro. Hello. How do, you, how do you feel there, champ? I mean, that was close, man. I'm shaking, man. Holy yeah, you crap. fucking got it, dude. I lost faith in your fucking little Udyr action at one point, dude. It's just Lee Sim at the Omni event, man. It can get a little crazy, you know? I mean, I tried going for that early game aggression. I'm, I'm used to playing Udyr and Aram with that item, so I thought, yeah. you know, I can get the early kill, but his runes and stuff made it hard. I forgot about this patch. Everything's just so cringe. I don't know what, what's going on here, but... um. <laughs> It was a tough matchup. I feel like, bef I don't know, before this patch, I feel like Lee Sim would have 100% won. With QE, like, W auto burst, like, I feel like just, I don't know. But then you just kept going in there, dude. And you you just slowly raked up CS from your, you starting Phoenix stance was probably your strongest thing you could have done. You get that AOE little thing on your minions. Get that little burst on your third auto, man.
you pulled through and you won, dude. How do you feel? Feel pretty good. You know, I I played a bit of Udyr, so I kind of know the ins and outs. I'm I'm glad I could showcase it here. So you don't even know who your next matchup is. I will tell you once the game starts. But any words or fear you want to ensue fear in your opponent? What do you got to say, dude? What do you got? I mean, to be fair, Robin should have made it to the championship round. You know, the finals. And that should have been me and him in the finals. But, you know, so he was the toughest opponent probably in this bracket. So I'm glad he's he's out of the way. I think the rest, the, bracket, the rest of the bracket shit. is easy. Yeah, it's it's easy. Go. There you go, man. That's all I want to hear, dude. All right, muting you. But uh, great talking to you, man. We'll see you in round two, man. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, everyone else. All right, so we're piping it up, dude. Where the fuck is my bracket? Ori, you know who's yes. up next, buddy? You want to know who's up next? Who's up next? Don't start the interviews until I'm back. Fuck. Uh, All right, Sean. What do you think? Do you think you can w win this one? Welcome to park, not gonna lie. There was a lot of mudsling earlier. Do you think you can back it up? Uh, yeah. Kids been playing the game for like, what, fucking a year. Support main, plays Lulu, point and click shield. Wow. Yeah, he's gonna get smoked. Just, um, I don't know who, uh, whoever I'm facing next, just beware. You're getting food, oh, boy. Also, uh, Juice, we're recruiting, uh, Resto Shamans and Resto, uh, nope. Druids. No, no, no. It, it hit me up. My name is Shawnee2Dotty. I'm Pagel. Nah. All right. Sean, let me ask you a random ass question, all right? Out of the blue. Keep this a little bit cool. If you could tell yourself one thing from when you were younger, what would you tell them? You probably don't play this piece, game. A piece of advice, besides what you just said, what would you tell them? Uh, Word. Word. Fuck bitches, get money. Okay. Yep. And um, what's your favorite Fortnite dance? Get on video right now. I can't do that. And <laughs> all right, name a Fortnite dance. It's the L one, the L where he does L one. Like, all right, muted. Yeah. Yep. And we're bringing in not only even Hunter Viscus K U M word. All right, Hunter, what you got to say about this little skinny white brute that you're up against? Um. I don't know. I just, I think Sean's pathetic. I think he has a mentality of sort of respecting your elders. More time played means better at the game. And quite frankly, having seen Drake and you, Abe, uh, I just don't think that's true. I th <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, I, yeah I think I'm going to put him in the dirt. I think yep, that of course. Uh, he's wrong. I think the only thing he's smoking is the rock. So, you know. <laughs> Okay, man. We'll you're, see. Right, well, you're fucking, uh, bigger beat Asian experience. We'll find out. Uh, One thing, need, if you were to win the prize, what would you like? What would you buy with it? Probably like one of those super turbo poggers uh like a moby huge off of amazon the no i don't think twenty dollars i don't think twenty dollars would cover a moby huge i'm thinking no. like the, yeah. the cow print femboy lingerie oh there you go man looking like a little devil all right yeah uh any last remarks for sean in the end with as much shit talking has been going on in the end of the day it's a video game and i know that uh it means a whole hell of a lot more to sean <laughs> all right man so, like sean i love you buddy we're gonna put up a good fight hopefully it'll be an entertaining matchup yeah gg try and go the distance yeah absolutely it's gonna be 110 percent blood sweat and tears you know sean you're the one who got me into this game so it's a little student versus master you know all right and here goes the invite anything you'd like to say to the other competitors i hope you like a piping hot wet nap because you're going to get your ass ate all right, there you go, man. Well, best of luck to both of you, man, all right? Yeah, thank you. Admit that I'm biased, but I am rooting for you. Just so you know. Good luck. I'm hoping for somebody to whip out the Akali, dude. That would have been my, my champ of choice. What do you think's cooking up here, huh? We got a lock-in on Rita Screepy. We got a lock-in on Viscous Cum, all right? We got a Fiora on Viscous Cum, man. This be a decent matchup, everybody. I'm ready to see this shit cooked up. So, the difference between Volibear and, and Fiora, I mean, Volibear is this kind of all-in champion where he, like, kind of targets, like, the squishy, because he's more of a tank, out of nowhere. Exact thing you want, because Fiora looks like a squishy, but she builds bruiser 1v1 potential. She's a duelist, you know? It's going to be an interesting matchup. Very, very interesting. If Fiora can able to get in there and land those land those procs on the vitals, I think Volibear is done for. All Volibear has to do is land those Qs at a perfect time. You gotta bait out that W, right? I'm gonna bait out that W so he, she doesn't get that CC lock on you and reduce your attack speed. Volibear is all about autos now. Q's an auto, W's almost an auto, and E just shield for dueling. It's interesting. Sean picked one of his mains, and Viscous Cum went in with uh, the old champion that never fails to get in there and go fucking raw dog in style, you know? You know what they say, dude. I don't know what they say, but you know what they say. Except for runes. We've got Conqueror and we've got Grasp. So Sean's going for trading. Um, 
Fiscus is going in for that all in for that conquerors. Just got that W stack on him. He's got a couple more seconds on it. Sean did that. Get his shield. He's out. Wasted a 20 second cooldown on Viscus Come. Sean got to level up before Viscus Come, but Sean has the same health as Viscus Come. I hate saying this over and over again. Come has the um <laughs> the advantage right now. And it's done, he's out of the way. Oh! That E auto. Landed that Conqueror proc. He took a couple of minion damage. Hunter just wasted his 30 second cooldown. The Ignite and the ult out and the flash. We got all summoners out. Going for a trade on him. He's using his WS poke. Come doesn't give a fuck, dude. Which one? Yeah. That's great. Fuck. It's gonna go in for that minion right there. Hunter didn't save the W for that. And that's how it happens, that folks. All right, what do you have to say about your performance? I mean, I think I was doing all right. I had a early damage advantage. I was just expecting Sean to be a little bit more trigger fingery with his Q, but he was uh, he was doing a very good job saving. And, uh, I think that's what got me in the end. And that W does do good about a poke too. It's what, like what, 25 second cooldown level level three? Yeah, like 22 to 25. Right? Yeah. But the thing is, that was your, that the reason why that did so much damage, if you're a Q and you're not proccing the vitals, you got your W, which does magic damage. So it was just deleting Sean's health bar whenever you did it. Yeah, and the W but, can proc vitals as well, which is a valuable tool. Yeah, in the end, and yeah, I think it's just, you know, like I said, Sean got me into the game. It was a little bit of a student versus master matchup. You know, in a way, I'm glad it's over, you know, because unlike Sean, I live with a loving partner. I can smash ass whenever I want. <laughs> and I'm generally not a useless stoner. You know, my life is pretty good. Dude, all right, all right, calm down, calm down. It'll be twenty dollars richer by the end of this. Sean smashes uh, Poon on the time. I heard, he, I heard Sean has got a big dick too, dude. From uh, I think I heard it from Drake. Uh, Drake. Yeah, I think I heard it from Drake. It is Drake. Know. Yeah, I mean, I quite frankly, uh, best of luck. No, to but I have to tell you something. All right, uh, the thing with Volley Bear was is that Volley Bear he can start off with like a bunch of fuck, uh, like fucking like armor and shit like that. The only thing you got going for you against that is your W damage, which is your magic damage. But Volley Bear can come in there with his passive autos after like three or four i think it is do magic damage to you do magic damage with, with his e get his shield also do percent health damage after he gets that second stack of w and heal and do physical damage well with my vitals do percent, percent health yeah true damage so i thought that that would be the move i thought that the uh the sustain would be good yeah with the, the healing and all that good stuff however sean also has sustain off of his w recast mm -hmm. all that good stuff but yeah i don't want to take too long on the interview best of luck to sean I know he really, really needs the twenty dollars. I'm sure it could help him out. Uh, Jesus, dude, what, what's up with this fucking insult? You're right, man. Everything yeah, good. that's part of the game. We've been flaming each other since before the match started. Next um, Friday, you will have your redemption round, dude. Yeah, I'll fuck his butt just like I do in real life. So mm -hmm. sounds good to me. All right, All right. better luck next time. All right, Sean, what do you have to say about your opponent's performance? The R pick definitely threw me off, that's for sure. Last thing I was expecting. Definitely had me on my heels like the first end of the, the match. Uh, but I definitely cheesed him out a little bit, you know, with the thorn mail start, a little bramble best cheese. That's the best favorite, start for Volibear, I think, Bear, I think. Yeah, yeah. I see Fiora, I build the item, is what my brain does. You dealt more damage with that thorn mail and everything, for, with, like, sustainability-wise, than you would have with maybe, like, an AP item, like, blasting one, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I also feel bad having to use my ult defensively. I was, I was hoping for a little finish, you know, ultim under tower, but like I said, definitely had me on my heels fucking first in the match. What would you say the strongest mental game that he had over you, like in the lane wise? The lane was perfect for both of you the entire time. Nothing was really crazy like the first match. So what would you say was like the toughest point in that matchup? Just getting into the groove with small trades is really what got me it, I think. Like you said, I wasn't queuing like a maniac. I was holding, waiting for the fucking W to come out, whatnot. You took grasp grasp is for short trading like you auto him a couple times you keep the trade going you e you get that grasp proc in with your w a little bit of good damage but fiora wants those short trades because she can w your q but you were sly with those cues but what was your thought process behind your cues just wait until i see purple on the screen i see purple i don't press q yep so what do you have to say for your next matchup i don't know just think about who i'm gonna play am i gonna play volibear again you know am i gonna bring out the deer am i gonna bring out Lilia? Hmm.
Hunter did talk a lot of shit, dude. What do you got to say for shit talk? What do you got? Shit talk? Hey, I'm just getting ready for the real matches. You know what I'm saying? There you go, man. I had my breakfast. I'm ready for dinner. All right. You still hungry? Oh, baby. Is it rumbling? That's why I'm going to buy with the $20. I'm, I'm door dashing some uh, Hot Pockets. There you go, man. You fat American. All right. We're moving on. Sean, one last thing. What do you got to say for your life quote as of in this moment? <laughs> Later, bitch. All right, Sean. It was nice talking to you. All right, moving on. What do we got for our next matchup? Sarah and Nick up next. So let's uh, do a pregame interview, or you're going to interview Sarah, all right? Have you been training for this tournament? My whole life. Your whole life. It's all come down to this. I'm, do you I'm have any plans? Nervous, but I know I'm going to come out with a dub. All right, but all right. you're nervous, but you're confident. Do you have any plans for that $20 <laughs> Amazon gift card? Still does. Understandable. Understandable. <laughs> 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 well, how are you feeling right now? What's going through your veins right now? Are you like pumped up? You ready to go? You drinking tonight? Well, how's it going? Yeah, I uh, I took a shot and did a bump, so I I'm I'm feeling pretty not. I I'm just gonna I didn't do a bump, but I did take a shot. I would have taken a bump right now. I'm up. <laughs> it's lit. And if I if I if I win, I'll chug the whole handle of Fireball. Nope, you won't. But, uh, you'll take a shot. You'll take a shot. That would be great. Right. So Any closing remarks before we let you go? Are you feeling pumped up? Are you ready to go? Uh, and what are your closing remarks for your enemy? What do, what do you got? We're just well, sending. The I don't really know. Whatever you want, but you're against the Yumi Bane. Really? Yep, you are. So he's a beta. Because I'm a, also a Nami Yumi main, and I'm a beta. Get wrecked, nerd. No, but um, I'll play Yumi and I'll win right now. We're going to bring in Nick now for his interview. All right, Nick, what you got? I'm going to win because I'm finally going to do good for once, hopefully. Just kidding, I'm going to lose. It's going to be bad, guys. Nope, where's the confidence, dude? And what are you <laughs> sipping on tonight there, sport? Vodka and Sprite. Mm -hmm. I don't drink soda, but I mean, that sounds That's just good for you. Is the drinking just for fun, or do you think this is going to enhance your performance? It's definitely going to enhance my performance, because I get stressed out if I don't drink when I play this game. What are you most confident about yourself for this game, this matchup? I mean, I know we're both going to be using support. I feel pretty confident in my ability to, like, actually get kills with support, so right, should be man. good. And um, what are you going to say to everybody in this voice channel right now? What are you going to say? Even if you lose or you win? What's I the am the Eggman. He's the Eggman. I am the walrus cuckoo kachu cuckoo chewies and that's it oh and christian ren sucks yeah and he doesn't do the dishes ever he doesn't do the dishes ever because he sucks all right we're gonna get this game going now boys and girls and whatever the fuck you are starting it i'm back i guarantee it's brand Versus yeah nami. you were right. yeah i knew it i knew it i knew he's gonna pick brand all right cooking up good nami is a sleeper OP champion. She ran Electric Cute, which is good. Electric Cute Anami, if you, anybody didn't know, is completely broken because you put E on yourself, W, which will automatically target the next enemy champion, and it'll heal you, and she can just auto once, or Q or do anything, and it'll proc. It's absolutely disgusting. She took exhaust, too. Brand with the heal, though, the heal might come out of nowhere and just be able to W, W, Q, and just, you know, just wreck face, you know? I don't know. It's definitely even matchup with these abilities because they're both kind of broken. Both sleeper support pick. I mean, you pick Brand if you're a selfish cunt and you just want to steal your laner's kills, but... Fair. I'm not giving Sarah tips. Shut up. They both know how to play their champions that they're picking. What do you think, Ori? The fish or the fire? Oh, I don't know. I don't know much about this game. I'm uh, so, glad you're here to keep the commentary running. That... E next going in for those powerful trades. She's got that burn. How much does that burn? Yeah, it's like one percent of her HP. Not bad. They both don't know how to CS for shit because they both are support mains. She goes in for the heal, heal W trade. He popped a health potion early. Nick's already popped a health potion. She'll end the Q. Oh, and the W. All right, heals herself back. Nick's got the superior start lost chapter. Every time he levels up, he's got a limited mana pretty much. Popped all of his health potions already. What? Put him, put him. Sarah's dead! Oh my god, alright! Nick, congratulations on your win! I just wanted to fucking murder you really quick. Congratulations on your win! Sarah, are you there? Hello. Alright, what do you have to say to Nick? I wish I knew how to play any other champion. Seems pretty understandable. Sarah, so like, what was the most, like, nervous thing you were thinking about in this matchup? How good your opponent was? Uh, no, I can't CS as Nami, so I realized I would have to either kill him early or get tower, but since I can't CS getting tower exactly. probably wasn't gonna work, so I was like, I 
just gotta try and kill him and i can't yeah, do more with, damage than a brand no so. the thing with brand is you need <laughs> brand is a support player too but the thing with brand is that you can like well he's damaged you can support. put your passive on anything he can eat it which conflagrates it which spreads to everything and he can poke you from like a mile away the yeah. only thing that you had is like the tiniest bit of sustain, but I don't think it's enough to out damage a brand pick. Uh, nah. What do you have to say to the other contestants? Should you warn them about next brand pick? Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't you do wouldn't that. Play. How shit do you think? You we only play? like honestly, <laughs> if I I, I I thought I was gonna get trolled because he was like, oh, we're both gonna play support, and I was choosing between Gwen and Nami because the only other character I even slightly know a little bit is Gwen. So I was like, oh, maybe I could like go Gwen, but like I was like, nah, I was like since we're both support mains. I'll yeah. just play Nami. It's a champ I know the best. So. All right. I'm glad to have you around. Uh, stick around for the rest of the fights. It'll be fun. I promise. Gabe, you're making me nervous. I hope I do, baby. All right. Muting you. It was nice talking to you, Sarah. Good luck next time. All right. Let's bring in fucking Nick, dude. What does this motherfucker have to say? Nick, baby. What's going on there, Chief? You, yeah, you that right, was... dude? You sweating? You a little sweaty, dude? Yeah. You, I know you don't wear deodorant. That was those crazy because like that ass or what, bud? does not happen. It doesn't happen but if you win. Brand huh? definitely is like my character where when you I'm know, in, man. I can go in early and I'm not as worried about it. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So you're feeling sexy, man. You're feeling good. Yeah. Oh, Nick, you advance to the next round. You feel like you've played your cards too early. You feel like you're going to have to change up your strategy. I honestly don't even have the strategy. I'm lucky I won. I'll probably lose the next one because I'm really not that great at this game. I play more just because everyone. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to have fun with it. Okay. Glad to hear, man. Say one word that describes how you're feeling right now. Good. Lit. That's too shit. Yeah, that is pretty shit. Uh, muted. Uh, well, we're going to go on to the next match now. Garl and Trevor. Trevor, how you feeling, man? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm you good are tonight. feeling good? Yeah. I, uh... So, so uh, what? how are you feeling? What, what is going to be your kind of play style without spoiling anything? What, what do you think you're going to do? Oh, there's only there's only uh, one thing. These people in the chat here, they came yep. to see blood. So we're going first blood, no mm -hmm. 100 CS, no chicken and out, no going mm -hmm. for tower. I'm glad to hear that, dude. What do you want to instill fear in your opponent? What, what do you got to say? Sum it up to one word. What are you going to say? Juice. There you go, man. All right, I'm, I'm, we'll interview you after the game. Win or loss. All right, Garl. What you got to say, man? Hey, yo, what's up? What's up, buddy? What you got to say? How you feeling tonight, man? Uh, I'm, you know, feeling great. Great? You feeling a little bit of cockiness? You, uh, you of know, sweat? I'm so confident. I took a year off league just so it would be even playing ground for this oh. match. All right? Yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, all right. yeah. All right. Instill fear in your opponent other than that. What, what you got to say, man? I'm going to shit all over myself. <laughs> You are you taking <laughs> on them, huh? Yeah, yeah, come all at right, me. Dude. I want what, all the smoke. What is your little strategy without spoiling it, dude? What do you, what do you think? You're gonna, what are you gonna do? Um, you know what? You know what? Blood for blood. Let's uh, let's duke it out. Yep, blood for blood, dude. Yeah, fuck it. All right, quick, dude. quick, just like just like everywhere else, quick, hard. You know. <laughs> yeah, there you go, dude. Quick and hard, dude. We'll Make a mess, yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. And then if you think you're gonna win this matchup, what do you, what do you say to your future opponents, bud? Uh, good luck. That's it, dude. Yeah, GG. Right. We're hoping that ego matches your play style. All right. It, it won't, but you know. I mean, keep it going, dude. Yeah, keep it going. The block is hot, dude. All right. Yeah, I'm I'm here to so. kick go. I'm gonna need ass. Me too, dude. It's the opposite, though. All right, we'll get into the game. Now. I saw Trevor's head bang, dude. He's fucking confident. I bet you were against a Shivana or Seth. Guarantee it's Seth, actually. I bet a thousand dollars it's set. Oh, you would win that bet. Yeah, and there is set. All right, we got press the attack Renekton though. Renekton can do those trades super hard. Set's going for that long game. He wants us hard trades. Set can always go in for hard trades. Set goes in, autos once, Q's again, boom boom. E's backwards, W's. That's super long trade. Maybe like six seconds worth. Renekton's got that gameplay style though, where he throws up those stacks, goes in, E's, E's again, W's with those max stacks and Q's, walks backwards. What does set gotta go? I mean, we'll see. Super good fucking matchup we got right now. That's cooking up heat. This might be the best matchup I've seen all night. We're gonna see some fucking people going duking it out, dude. Get your fucking damn items and get in that fucking arena, dog. This is a good fucking matchup. Two beefy ass bruisers. It's gonna be fucking lit. Ori, can you do me a favor? What's up? Can you scroll up and check that straw poll to see who people voted for to win? Uh, definitely doing. You guys are. Oh. Trevor's coming through in with those fucking little short trades. It's different to see because we both got bruisers. No mana cost or anything. We got Trevor stacking up his fucking passive. He, he doesn't want to go for that cannon. 
Umbal, did you miss that cannon? Garl missed this cannon. No, he won't. Yep. Pump Q4. And walk backwards. Perfect E. Just to fucking cancels ground footing. Push him off the wave, that is. Wave is in pump up favor. Just cook it up up here. We got a sum out of one bology. We got a level 7 of one bology. We got a level 7 of plump gum. Went for that Q trade. Missed by just a little centimeter. They both got a little, tiny bit of sustain. I mean, Renekton sustain matters on his rage charges with his Q AD scaling, but 15 CS to 25. I also can't hear anything all of a sudden. I have no idea what is happening. Oh, right, you are a servant. Okay, good. Everybody watch Ori's stream. He's got the W side. Oh, and he's out. Quick short trade. There's a little trading action, all right? Pump keep going in for the ult. Why do I keep right clicking? There it is. What's up, buddy? How's it going? No, I'm just telling you, merge both of the interviews after game interviews so it's faster. What do you mean, merge them? No. The like, have them both go the same. You can have them banter back and forth. It'd be funny. No, the whole point is that bad words don't come out. No, Forget nothing. No bad words. All right, fine, dude. All right, fine, dude. It'll be fine. Don't worry. It'd just be faster. No. I'm, so we can get it done. Why, why does it have to be faster? It's supposed to be fun. Like, it doesn't have to be No, Dylan man. said he has fucking work tomorrow, so they can... Go to why? All right, fine. Same. I'm just saying, dude. It'd be easier. It'd be better. It'd be funner. All right, talk shit to each other. Pump cup, one ball G of the four. Go. No, that was actually a really good game. I was worried when I saw the set pick because it's a champion that I don't usually like to play into. But yeah, pretty much it. I'm glad I was able to trade. Kind of fly over, cheese a little bit to get you low enough. Good game. It was a lot of fun. That was a uh, uh, a <laughs> little bit of a little bit of a whiff at the end. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I was flashing. Out yeah, was I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna flash. I'm gonna auto. It's gonna look amazing. And then, <laughs> I did not. I did not end up where I thought I was gonna be at. And then I panicked. <laughs> I was like, uh oh. I, swear, I could pull it back. I could pull it back. <laughs> Fucking blew my E. <laughs> blew my W. <laughs> Just fucking, but I told I told you I told you I was gonna show myself, so you know it's all good. You know you can clean up for the next match. It's all good. That was fun though. It was it was great to have you, man. So what's my and prize? Prize is a little kiss on the mic. Mm, oh, that's idiot. that's priceless. Okay. Eat Arby's. Um, no, Arby's is shit. God damn it, Gabe, they're our sponsor. Trevor, how the fuck do you feel about your fucking win, dog? You gotta be in there, uh, like, fucking... Hey, 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 I brought home the W. No, it was, it was pretty good. Eager to fight some other people, because I know... There's some people in my brain I don't want to go up against, and I also know what you guys play, so uh, hopefully I got the counter picks. We'll see. Yeah, I got you. Uh, Ethan, are you here? You fucking retard. Get in here now. Uh, Ethan, how you feeling against your opponent here, Christian Red? How, how do you feel? Dude? I'm feeling pretty good. Christian's not a very good. good player. He's also wasted like me, not gonna lie. But I also yeah, think true. he's also, uh, you know, better alcoholic, so that might give him the advantage. <laughs> there you go, man. I just want to give a quick thanks to my loving girlfriend, Nadia, who couldn't be, uh, here. Mm -hmm. Even It wouldn't make a difference because she's not very good at League of Legends, but... True. Yeah. I mean, girls good at video games? Yeah, girls can't be good at video games. Anyway, no. fuck you, Christian. You're gonna lose, buddy. Uh, ah! Let's oh, fucking oh, go! Alright, alright. I'm leaving you, Ethan. Also, Great number job. one, Joker NA, buddy. Christian, your turn. Alright, you know what, I think I think this is gonna be a fucking easy cleanup, dude. I don't think it's gonna be any sweat off my back, honestly. I think I'm just gonna fucking sweep the ground real quick. Fucking, you know, fucking pack my bag, dude. Fucking head on home, dude. After this, it'll be easy. I'm not too worried. Yeah, hitting you, packing your bag to the next second bracket, right? Yeah, back my bag to fucking win this fucking championship, dude. All you guys are fucking shitters. You have nothing on me. You're all fucking garbage. And you can all suck my balls and then lick my taint at the same time. <laughs> Interview what over. Go wet and wild, dude. Interview I'm over. Interview over. Muting you. So what What'd you think about that, Ori? You think he's got the sauce ready to win? He's got ego, dude, you know? He's got that strong ego.
his pride might be pretty hurt if he loses, though. Yeah, if he loses, I mean, he it's just over for him, right? You no, know, he just talked an awful lot of shit in a very short amount of time. All right, it's cooking up. We got uh, underscore help, aka Ethan, on his trademark Nico mid. Daddy Warbox on his signature Z1 trick mid. So we'll see how this cooks up, man. I'm ready to see. I bet you he's starting serrated Dirk to help off. He does have the advantage. He is Zen. Super easy poke. But he does have the advantage. He is Zen. Super easy poke. Dodge all the fucking CC. Go in there and auto him to death. We'll, we'll see though. There is. Get the easy poke. We got we got Ethan already popping a health pot. Christian started a hex drinker. Interesting. Cringe move, but it is worth it. Oh, that doesn't really have character for Christian. Problem with Nico against Zed is that has unlimited energy regeneration. Nico did start that lost chapter, but is that what? 20% max mana? I do think Zed level 6 is way stronger than Nico's, but... Oh, we got Flash out of Nico. Daddy Warbucks sitting there. Not even giving a fuck if he gets damaged. Now he's taking a little bit of poke now, yeah. Good bit of poke. He still has two health pots, though, and hex drink. Nico. Hello. 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 Yeah, Christian popping his first health potion of the game. Ethan... He still doesn't have health potions popped yet. And all right, Christian. Ethan, Christian, you're on. A little bit of a problem. My original pick was Mordekaiser until Gabe's decided to interview us mid fucking choosing champs, so I didn't get to, you know, set up the runes. So I just went with Nico. Thank you, yeah, Gabe. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Second off, my hand wasn't was kind of <laughs> sore, but you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah, dude. You, you know, something some things happen when you drink it. You wasn't know, you fucking wasn't you're feeling like, too good. You know. You know when you, you, just, you just have little things going on. It's all right, dude. It's all right. Dude. So Christian, I'll give you a minute tops right now. What are you gonna say? Your minute tops, dude. I'm just the fuck, just just the best all around, dude. And, you know, no one could beat me ever. Like I'm just honestly just gonna win this whole thing in the fucking landslide. It's, it's gonna be super easy, you know. All right, talking to tweet now. I don't have a tweet, but I'm gonna fucking chug the rest of my drink. All right, it was nice talking to you, dude. We'll see you in the next round. All right, Ethan, what happened there, man? Explain to us everything. What, what you got? Well, I don't know, Gabe. I feel like this is kind of a bad. You're kind of a not doing a very good job as a host. I was gonna pick Mordecai's until you rushed us during the champ select. Not gonna lie, but the you know what? It was a fair rock. game. At the end of the day, it was you a fair hovering, game. I you, feel like you won. literally, we got in the lobby and you hovered Mordekaiser at the very first millisecond. Yeah, you but then I had to put in the fucking runes, dude, and I was too drunk to do that. Runes. I needed more time. I'm saying, a dude, if you would have, too, dude. <laughs> no, it was you got GG, it, dude. Fair game. Next Friday, Christian did pretty well. Friday. He counterpicked don't me. Blame, don't blame me, dude. All right. I'm yeah, sorry. it's all your fault. No, I was fucking joking, dude. Next Friday, dude, you got back in there, dude. All right. I know, dude. It was good. It was fun. It was exciting. Got my blood pumping. Christian was Girlfriend's off. Dude. devouring some fucking oatmeal or something, dude. <laughs> she puts her bowl away immediately. <laughs> dude, no, GG. Good game. All right. Cheers. Was that? Yeah, exactly. Cheers. Are you drinking Modelo, dude? Everybody do a little cheers, and we'll get to the next round, dude. All right, it's heating up, dude. This is going to be the most... I think this might be the most interesting match of the night. Bert, what you got to say, man? Uh, you know, I'm just going to do my thing. Give a give 110%. You know, just do my thing. Oh, man. Just tell your opponent one sentence of shit talk. What, what are you going to say to him? You know, I'm just going to give 100%. I'm going to do my thing. 110%. <laughs> okay, man. We got Teemo against fucking Callista, bro. We got Ignite Barrier on Teemo. That's pretty broken for a little 1v1 era match. But we also got Exhaust Flash on Callista. Yeah, who do you think would win in chess? Sean or Dylan? Oh, that's hard to say. I don't really know Dylan. All right, how about Sean and Hunter? Oh, uh, I don't know. I feel like they both might just eat pieces. Oh, yeah, they're both dumb dumb. I understand that. What do you think about um, Twizzlers? You a big fan of Twizzlers? Which one? Any of them, dude. I fucking hate them. Oh, not you even the Ah, uh, nope. They're all pretty gross. First blood, I mean, first DS. Yeah. Alright. It's like cube line out of nowhere. Five CS from Cactus, three CS from Mardu. Still keeps going in for those cube lines and those couple autos. Okay, okay. 
We got a little bit of training going in. Arduino's got a big wave to be able to try and catch, but being engaged in a fight, those, all those minions are going to be fighting him. So. And there it is. All right, Drake, what's going on, man? What's going through your brain right now? What's up? All right, it's bringing the winner, dude. What you got to say, Bear? How'd it feel? You know, I just went out there and did my thing. Give it 110%. No, I just did my go. thing. So for your next matchup, are you ready to go 111%? No, you know, I'm just going to do my thing. 110%. Just do my thing. Right. <laughs> okay, dude. Well, it's nice talking to you, man. What do you got to say for your, your opponents? Go 110%. Okay. okay. Galen, you fucking reached out. Join. Everybody, yeah. Yo. What do you guys say about um, young Tyro, dude? You saw his video gameplay. What, what do you think, dude? I didn't really watch most of it, to be honest. Oh, I haven't well, really been paying attention. I'm not retard, too worried. But, um, or he joined. So you have nothing to say then? I'm just here to hang out and have fun, dude. What would you do with your prize money, buddy? I uh, would probably buy RP. Yeah. How big is your dick? We'll see by the end of this match, buddy. Oh, if really? You win, you're going to be pitching a tent. Depends on how this goes, or, you know? Yo. Yo, what's up, boy? How you feeling? I'm Sorry all right. A long way. Are you ready to fucking just get back in there? Go ham, dude. I mean, I, I think I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready for this. This is the last bracket of the first round. We got Tyrone Graves. We got Demon Lock and Vladimir. Interesting picks. Wait, am I in lane right now? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Tarot trying to get as much CS as he can, but I mean, you're against Vlad. Vlad started, yeah, he's got CDR and Claw Armor. I mean, it's just Vlad, Vlad in general. He's just gonna keep queuing you to death. So we got no flash out of Demon Lock. Got Demon Lock up in there. All right, Gale and FF. All right, exit game. Everybody, exit game. What's up, man? I mean, I think the one pick was uh, against me there, you know. I, pick, I picked something that wasn't so too good into Vlad. It's whatever. I mean, yeah. I mean, as long... Graves is so good, man. It's just... But if you... When you want to be one, like an AP champion with super sustain, it's kind of hard. Especially when he started that 10% CDR item, and he can just queue you to death, man. Like, there's nothing you can do, right? Yeah. And then I was pretty low once he hit six. I, I probably should have backed up, but hey, you win some, you lose some, you know? Exactly. Graves would have been strong against, like, any AD champion ever. 100%. But... You didn't know that he was going to pick that fucking little Val Vladimir pick and just fucking go in there, you know? Yeah. So how do you feel about yourself right now? You you think you can come back next Friday and give it your all? Oh, oh easily, Friday? easily, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know everybody's league, league names now. Go in there and see it and just scout and be like, all right, I think I know what they play, you know? So on a confidence scale, 1% to 100%, how confident do you feel if you were entered in this tournament again? How confident do you feel? I'd say about a 80, 80, 90, you know? Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Here, yeah. If we can give any player advice for their upcoming matches, what would you say? Hmm. You know, if you're up against Vlad, try to abuse it early, you know, like I mm -hmm. failed to do. I, I, that was my main mistake. You know, don't be afraid to push that CS advantage, you know. I, I, if I if I dodge that ult, that would be a different game, you know. Well, uh, kudos to you, man. And I appreciate you at least getting out of that little first roundabout, you know. We'll see you next Friday. All right, all right. Thank you for having me. No problem, man. Peace out. There you go, man. What you got to say, bro? I'm a little upset, honestly, because the only reason that I picked Vlad was because I got Vandal Vlad from a box when I logged in, and I guess it didn't unlock thought i did and i couldn't use it so i'm not happy about that i'm gonna have to play vlad again cringe but yeah how do you feel about your matchup you think it was one-sided two-sided what do you think i think it was a little cringe that you walked into the middle of the lane and made it so that he got level six first uh, I but then i just that. uh I was not paying attention i'm sorry we'll, we'll figure all this out this is the first event ever so yeah well then i just kind of did vlad things i ended what up you with say a, about your future opponent actually level i i ended up with a level advantage at one point apparently my dick's a little bit bigger than 
some people thought. Huh, apparently. I mean, when you're a virgin, people don't know how big your dick is, right, Gallon? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Gabe, what's up, you fucking pussy? Fuck Wait. you, dude. So we got Nanny and Sean, but I I don't know what they're gonna pick. None of them have a... Sean! You pick, Willia. You're literally fucking bitch. Oh shit, I'm unmuted? Alright, Sean, uh, to my knowledge, has fallen away into the fog of war. Thus far, the, the trades have been pretty even. I personally think that Seraphine is a little bit of a scumbag pick, but that's me being biased against Sean. I hate that kid. He's really stupid. Uh, Big Nads, very, very high. This is Baked Nads, not Big Nads. Uh, we're gonna see a little bit different gameplay than we're used to from Big Nads tonight. She's usually very, very, uh... What's the word for it? Uh, anxious in most of her decisions on uh, on the rift, but um, you know, I think that we're gonna see a little bit more daring moves from Big Nads because of the weed, because of the tears. Yep. Tonight's yeah. game sponsored by Budweiser oh, Freedom Edition. Oh shit! All uh, right, Sean, and weed, I guess. I'm really, really surprised. I know Lilia has healing in her kit. But she is playing against a support turned mid lane mage. So, quite frankly, an enchanter versus a, I don't even know what to call it, jungler, I guess, AP assassin? I fucking, jungler. it's impressive. The The trades are even. We're, we're sitting at a, right around the same amount of health. It appears that Big Nance has popped health pot, I think. I can't tell. I can't see the items. It seems like Nads is playing it poking at the wave and uh letting sean kind of control the pace of the lane big electrocute yeah, prop from sean so what i think is going on here is that's like a gankerable jungler kind of but like when you do that 1v1 situation with just one lane like she doesn't have any range besides her e yeah her e does that little like inch blast gun but that's not enough for her it's tough. I think that, yeah, no, I know. You've um, got to watch out for the all in here, though. That is huge. Yeah, see, they're that both was on huge. in. They're both out. Zalia are flash. definitely scary. Yeah, exactly. That was both flash from both enemy players, was it not? I looked away for one second to reach for the Budweiser. Milo had taken it, and both players were down to about a third of their health. Nope. That's, Absolutely that's, astounding. That's a flash from that's a flash from Bambi and no flash from Rita Screepy. So Robin's saying it? the host is sloshed. Does that mean me or does that mean Gabe, the man titled host? Uh oh, me, Big Nads. I am hammering. I'm absolutely hammering out of my mind. Why Big Nads picking a heel pad. Hopefully looking to line up a Dark Harvest proc on Sean. What? Get out of my goddamn lane. I just saw Aatrox walk up before both him and Sean disappeared into the fog of war. Definitely not what you like to see here. Rito yeah, Street is clearing these waves very well. He might or be he, going for the CS victory. Or he pushed yeah, tab. I, I, think he, I think he can outpoke Big Nads and end up getting that little double root on his little passive. Seven and a half minutes into the game, roughly. Personally, I think it is smart that Nads is playing a little bit back, a little bit safer. The electric procs from Sean are pretty, I would say, intimidating thing. Naz, now on the receiving end of the strategy that Sean told me about last night, which was psychological warfare. He's looking to flame his opponent in all chat, uh, hope to get them tilted, and have them make some poor decisions on the uh, the murder bridge. You know, being a, being a friend of Sean, I've known him for a while. This is definitely a tactic he employs a lot in solo queue. Oh, yeah. I've seen him get banned on multiple accounts. Yep. Hermud, actually. Uh, literally the top 1% of toxic players. I didn't know it was even possible. But, you know, we've seen it. We, we know it's what he's capable of. Absolutely, and that's why I try to bring such a sheer amount of animosity into the trash talk between me and Sean. Yeah, because... but does, Sean, does Sean's salivary glance keep up with the opponent's player or like or the opponent's like moves that they gotta do is it gonna keep up or no what do you think it's gonna do sean's talking shit doing little aoe abilities but can that fuck with bambi dude i mean what's going on here dude what do you think's going on so 
Nads, again, playing safe under tower. I think it might work in her favor to try and uh, see us under tower, even though it seems like she might be a little too high for that at the moment. She is playing a jungler with a relatively good clear. Yeah. So hopefully we would uh, be able to see her come up with the uh, with the CS advantage. Yeah, but we're looking my... at forty five CS at sixty five. Sean's at the at the at sixty five sixty six at this point. So. And I think that has to do with Sean controlling the pace of the lane. He really is just shoving wave, keeping under tower, and making it harder for yeah, Big Man. Pushing her back because because uh, fucking surfing is just keep shoving fucking shit in it. But we might see. Wait, this here is the fight. Now. Big R. Sean's burning oh, there out. There goes Sean. Big Nad coming in clutch. Holy shit. Absolutely not the outcome oh, I expected. Sorry, this is Big full Nad. Bad. Absolutely. Big Nads was the underdog in this fight. And right. Nads has secured the W, as Ethan has stated in chat. Sean yep. has let You're down the me. entire, the entire audience. Me. He's let down all of us, the now announcers, for this fight. Quite frankly, I am shocked. The chat is roaring. All I'm hearing is Discord notifications. This is amazing. Surely no one saw this upset coming, especially since Nads wasn't in the bracket to begin with. Yes, Nads totally out of pocket, uh, just off the cuff, happened to be here, happened to be stoned. Um, it, it just, I can't even believe it, personally myself. I heard you I uh, make a connection between Nads having anxiety in her plays when she isn't stoned. Do you think this had anything to do with the outcome? Quite frankly, I see Big Nads being uh, even more anxious when high. Uh, so I don't know how that uh, worked in her, or her favor or not. I think that maybe she got so anxious that she decided to just all in. Quite frankly, I think the charm ult from from sean on seraphine along with the sleep from lilia at the same time was making it a really tense and close fight i think it was really really interesting to watch those go off at the same time it truly was a sight to behold we just want to do a word from our uh, sponsors real quick uh trevor has also co-sponsored this event <laughs> so, so yes, he's trevor adding he's added adding a ten dollar amazon food. gift card to every single um one two and three place yeah. So Trevor versus Christian. Oh, hey, Christian. hey, what's up, guys? Back at it, you know, fuck it. What are you going to say about Trevor? Doing my thing. Uh, Trevor's a good guy. I love Trevor. Hey, you know. what's up, Christian? Love you too, but, bud. But what are you going to do? We're going to have, have a good him? match. No, we're going to a good match. We're going to, you know, best person wins, obviously. Nah, it's going to be a good one. Pretty legit. Looking forward to it. Christian, just remember, nobody remembers second place. You know what I'm exactly, you know? Nobody remembers the loser, dude. History's written by the victor, so... Oh, Shoot. I didn't get to lock my fucking runes. Fuck! I might redo. be we can redo. You. We can... you know, I'll keep. You sure? Uh, yeah, no, we'll go with it. It's realistic, also, dude. F is for flesh. We got Trevor on fucking jacks. One ball, you come up with some good trades. Both got level six, same time. Okay, okay. Mordekaiser has the advantage. His cooldowns don't cost mana, but they do. They're like a little bit, a second or two above. When Balji always wins 1v1s. Okay. Oh, Well, we can't see what's happening right now, but... Trevor, you have the floor. Yeah, so I shouldn't have went in all the way. Ideally, if he didn't play under tower, I could have tried to bully him uh, with my E a little bit more, take some of that damage uh, early game and, and get in there. But he, he just played better, knowing when to, to stay off a little bit. Thought I was going to win with the Jax pick. It's out of the blue for me. I've played Jax like three times, but the good game overall. Thought I almost had it at the end. And the AoE damage, I think, is what did it. So cheers, man. Hope you win it. Hell yeah, dude. That was good. Good match, dude. It was fun, very fun. It's gonna be interesting to see the next match. Hunter is dumb, apparently. He doesn't know what he's doing with the brackets. Uh. <laughs> so 
the next one is Bear versus Dylan, right? So, uh, Dylan, how do you feel about your opponent? You watch those games. What, how are you feeling? Honestly, I don't think I got a fair representation because of the matchup. I think uh, Timo kind of fucks up there. Oh, okay. So you're bringing out Timo immediately, dude? You're just going to rip it right out? You know, I like to keep a few pocket picks. I, I try to shake it up a little bit. If I played Timo Vane every game, it would really be fair to the other competitors. Okay. Okay. I like to hear that. It's Morbin time. All right, Bear, what do you have to say, man? What's going on right now? Uh, you know, it's going to give 110%. You know, just do my thing. And other than that, what else are you going to do? I just kind of got to do my thing. 110%. Give it. That's, that's what we got. That's what we're rolling with, dude. Good luck to you both gentlemen. So we got Bear on his Silas. I've never seen him play that. He's got some decent gear. We got, oh, we got the fucking Lee Sin again with the exhaust. Okay. Uh, or do you have anything to say to that, bud? Uh, no, I was kind of looking away. I was taking a sip of water. What happens? Uh, the game's over. You interview Bear, so his name is Cockatus Ross. You, you ask him some questions. Bear, are you with us? Yeah, you know, just doing my thing. By the way. Gave 110%. Yeah, crew, that wasn't enough. What do you have to say about that? Uh, you know, I gave, you know, 110%. Just did my thing. Gave 110%. What do you think the reason you lost? You think draft pick? I mean, uh, you know, just did my thing. No, just hundred ten percent my thing. <laughs> did my percent hundred thing. Okay, we're gonna go on to the. You got any other messages for the rest of the opponents? What to worry about? What What do they got to do? Like, what What do you got? Uh, the thing percent just doing my one hundred thing. Okay, we'll see you next Friday, man. All right, Dylan. Yeah, up, man. How you feeling, dude? I don't know. I feel like I only pressed like four buttons and it just kind of ended. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to the fans at home and my coaches. Thank you, Robin, warming me up. Feeling a bit like oh. dad versus Matt Watson. Hey, there you go, man. So, uh, shout out to the Weeb Squad, hyping me up at home. Gamers gaming, gamers gaming. Gamers gaming, gamers gaming. I'm against Dylan next to I'm a little nervous, dude. Dylan's a little, uh, little fucking uh, unpredictable, you know? You might press some buttons. Right, Dylan a bit like shaggy after that one. Yeah, dude. I think I only showed 2% of my power. Yeah, you, you know, he stomped a little bit. Yeah, I'm a little scared now, you're not gonna lie, dude. Throw you off your game. <laughs> I was expecting the Zed, honestly. Like, your Zed in game one was pretty cracked. Nah, I, see, I know your tricks, though. Yeah, like what? Teemo. <laughs> you think I'd break out the Teemo in a high-stakes game like this? I think you would. I think you would. Um, you know, you, your dreams just might come true. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll see. We'll Trevor, see. I think I might got a little pocket uh... pick. But uh, our next matchup of the night is Galen versus Baked Nads. Dylan progressing forward into the third and final or semi-final bracket. No, it's the final. It's the final bracket. The Freedom Budweisers are catching up with me. I just want to take this opportunity to have um, everyone just chug a drink right now. While we're all here, we're waiting, you know, grab a drink. I'll, I'll take a sip. Uh, I still need to commentate for at least another fight or two. Uh, a little surprise to see the Talia. I know it's one of the pocket picks from Nads, but... I agree. It is a little bit surprising. I'm not sure if it's Big Nads' strongest champion. Galen saying in all chat now that he panic-picked and fucked up his runes. Okay, so Galen does have Comet and Inspiration secondary. Nads with Electrocute and Sorcery secondary. Both of them running Flash Exhaust, which I think is a very yeah. interesting matchup. And both of them going Lost Chapter to Health Pot. So... I think that this is a relatively uh, skill-based matchup, or you can let go of Tab now. I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping we see a little bit more patient gameplay from Big Nads and just trying to uh, take even trades and stuff, but Zareth is a really tough person to lean into. He's got incredible range, and it is sometimes just a oppressive nightmare to play into. Big Nads at a little over half health, Big Nad's dropping down to half health from those relentless Xerath W's, I believe. I'm gonna sneak some of that potion, too. Yeah, so Nad's going for a little bit of HP up in the form of a health pot and the heal pad. Dodging a Xerath W. Galen playing a little bit dangerous. I think he's throwing out a lot of spells really fast. I think he is maybe at risk of ooming himself. Big stun under tower. 
The winner of this fight will move into the final bracket and fight Dylan. Ever did go out of his way to get three more $10 Amazon gift cards, so first, second, and third place will have an extra $10 tacked on. I am cooking a veggie burger right now. A veggie burger? Gabe is eating a veggie burger right now. <laughs> Sorry, Dad, I have stolen now four of your beers. Um, I have, again, not eaten very much today. It is catching up with our host. I'm feeling a little bit like Harry Carey. My favorite planet is the sun. Uh, if, your hot do uh, if your fingers were made of hot dogs, would you eat them? That is the question. The answer is yes. Two resounding yeses from Drake and Christian. Big Nads taking a huge chunk in that last trade. However, taking a health pot, getting that heel pad, getting back up. Again, taking huge chunks from Galen. Nads sitting on top of a Dark Harvest proc on Galen. Hopefully she could pull it off. It is a really, really rocky fight for Baked Nads right now. Just trying to play it safe. Farm under tower, not much else she can do. Having expended both of her health pots, there's, again, not much she can do. So Big Nads looking at 20 seconds on the outer heel pad, about 50 on the inner to get some of that back, but it will be a risky move considering Galen has been pressuring the lane the entire time and she is so low. Okay, so it appears that we have nobody muted now. Everybody is free to speak, and yes, I don't want it to be uh, a disgusting... Uh, Nadia, dude, you can win this. Uh, Again, I don't want it to be a disgusting free-for-all in here. I'd like a little bit of order and respect for us as uh, announcers and hosts, but I would like to hear some occasional commentary. I think I'm watching a seizure in real time. Ori has absolutely DC'd from the game from uh, for not moving around, having to tune into Sean's stream right now. Zareth missed all his alts. Nadia picking up the fucking heel pad. And I think I... that... Okay, uh, I think that has uh, something to do with Galen just being a bad player in general. And quite frankly, I think we might see more slip-ups coming from his side of the map soon. Again, Galen, absolutely oppressive wave... Uh, Wave control, lane presence, everything about him. I have drank a lot of Fireball. It's gross. Don't do it. Fireball is good in moderation. So is Budweiser. Quite frankly, Milo is making me a quesadilla at the moment, and I'm not <gasps> sure how well I'm going to be able to eat it. Um, Excuse me, Mr. Host, what is in the quesadilla? Uh, what is in the quesadilla? It is... Ground turkey, seasoned with taco mm. seasoning. Um, we went, decided to go with turkey instead of hamburger because it's, quote-unquote, more healthy. Um, on top of that, we have a homemade pico de gallo from Milo. We have uh, black beans. Uh, I don't think we have any Spanish rice, which is a little bit of a bummer. Quite frankly, oh, I like rice out. in a dia. To land? Again, big... That will not again, uh, but rather a relatively big ult from Galen, uh, landing two of his three Zareth skill shots. Indeed, so that is some range on those attacks. His ult is at leave the current players unmuted so they can should talk to each other. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what? if that's a good Wait, idea. Unmuted? Yes, everybody is unmuted. Oh my god. Dude, I'm so scared. Galen, you're literally letting me live on purpose, dude. Let me just end. Galen's I think he likes walk away and right do now. something. Oh, he fucking the all whipped. He misses everything. Right. Absolutely Those amazing. Chance, oh, tower's gone. Goes down. Uh, GG. GG. He attempted to go in for the first blood, but... Nad's <laughs> ulting away from fear. Uh, I think it's not a horrible choice. I think that might have uh, saved her. But Dude, I didn't know. Long. Wait, I didn't know that tower die equal lose. Yeah. There we go. Nads has been knocked out, and Galen will move forward. Uh, looking Boo. forward. Yeah, I agree. I'm not a big Galen wow. fan myself. Yes. So the third place fight we're looking at right now will be Christian versus Baked Nads. Milo coming in with my now made one wet quesadilla. It is wet, it is juicy, it has been put into a panini press. I don't know if we can see that on cam, but that is indeed a quesadilla. 
right now we have uh coming up we have christian versus dylan and quite frankly uh, I think I've expressed from the beginning that I am a part of the Dylan Thompson fan club. I am a too, yeah. huge fan. He's got a monster cock. Um, but yes, Trevor coming in with a surprise $10 bonus to each prize. $10 Amazon gift cards tacked on to the already proposed prizes. Absolutely amazing. Christian, now unmuted, has something to say. Uh, you know, dude, it's going to be a good match. We're going to have a really, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun in here. It's going to be me versus Dylan. Dylan's a fucking Chad, so we're going to see what's ha you know, we're going to see what happens. Uh, it's Damn. definitely going to be a tough match. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to play it by ear, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just going to fucking send it, dude. I'm just going to put my know, balls on the table, grab bro. the hammer and fucking smash him, dude. What Thank you very much for that commentary, Christian, going into your fight with Dylan. Dylan. Do you have anything to say to local alcoholic Christian Wren? Oh, also, Dylan does not have me on his friends list, so I can't. Remember. Famous lo lo local. You alcoholic. added me the last game, so I have to be there. But uh, nothing but nothing but respect for Christian. Uh, I he, we played in the past, but after watching his Zed in game one, honestly, I, I was a bit shocked. I don't know if it was just because of the Nico matchup, but he was landing cues left and right, and the fadeaway ignite. Honestly, for style points, I I respect that. There you go. I'm, I'm looking frankly, forward to the picks. I am I am looking forward to the picks. This is going to be a very good fight. Again, I am biased in favor of Dylan, and it just happens to be because I have heard so much about him since the time that I started playing League about a year. He maybe showed all of us how to play League. Years ago. Nads beat Sean in no an way. upset. That's Nads, sick. Nads was not part of the bracket. Milo not even a spectator is shocked by the turn of events. We now have, again, third bracket, Christian versus Dylan. I'd like to say Christian has been talking mad shit about his other opponents all night, but his statements just now, comparatively humble, I think he might be a little intimidated. I agree. So when he gets the invite? I, I think that's a reasonable uh, analysis there. Right, we're starting. I, so wait, for, let me let me explain this real quick. The, the opponents beforehand, you know, nothing but fucking just... Little, little carpet munchers, dude. Nothing, you know, just little fucking crawlers. That's all. But, you know, Dylan, he's someone I have to take seriously. Gabe is three sheets to the wind, walking towards the bridge. So we can see here that Dylan has locked in Lee Sin, and I have no idea what Christian is playing as of right now. AP okay, Nazis. Ori coming in clutch with stream number two, better quality. Again, stealing his landlord's Wi-Fi. That is commercial slash business class. <laughs> the Three fuck? megabits per second. Uh, get owned on all you people with uh, 30 to 50. Fuck you. Yes, myself included. Um, Especially you. You cast Hunter, I'm going to definitely, you're casting down, dude, I'm lit. You got Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Sean is also unmuted, so if he would like to give commentary, that is totally, totally welcome. I think Sean would be good for the job. So we're seeing a little bit of early trades between uh, Dylan and Christian here. We have, uh, you know, Dylan on Lee Sin, Christian on a uh, sort of safe pick, Nasus, one of his only M7 champs, as far as I know. Uh, I think we're just going to see a lot of what we saw in the first matchup between... Uh, Robin and uh, fuck, what's his name? Tyro, uh, which is mostly Lee Sin having an infinite amount of sustain. I too have no idea what the builds are. Ori, can you push tab very quickly? So we have Dylan with the ARAM vamp item with Christian going AP Omni Vamp Leeching Leer. Uh, we're 11 to 11 CS. Uh, both people have taken Flash Ignite. Christian seeming to go with a cheeky AP Nasus build. He's got Comet. I think he's looking to spam Dylan from a safe distance. Gabe now walking up to Christian in an upset, taking the sword out, going under tower, autoing Christian. <laughs> okay, uh, Gabe has ruined this match. Uh, I think we're just not going to count that. A kill for Christian, no back. Okay, Christian left the game. This is a mess. An absolute mess. One of the fights I was most excited for tonight has been turned into a laughing stock. 
I just just undeafened. What happened? I'm not quite sure. People, the audience is calling for a same champs matchup. I don't have the power to unmute Christian. Maybe Sean does. Gabe is uh, extremely shit housed and seems to have walked what? directly up to Christian Dylan, and started let's auto. Go again. Same champs. Yeah, I'm down. I'm, I'm down. I'm a new guy. I'm a new guy. Gabe can watch from. Gabe, you fucking shitter, dude. The fuck was that? I too am going to send Dylan a friend request because I think he is a Chad with a extremely big cock. But that is just for me. Not the cock, the friend request. Why not both? That's up to Dylan. Quite frankly, other people I have to commend for these fights tonight. I think that Bear put up a very good fight. Uh, I think he gave 110% out there and I would like to see him again next Friday. <laughs> You know, if I let that game go longer than a minute, I was fucked. You were absolutely stomping, Christian. That is just an objective fact. Not trying to badmouth or anything. I think Christian might need to just play it a little bit safer, do a little bit more e-poking, and I think that this could be a pretty even matchup. Taking a quick look back at the bracket, Galen versus Tyro, the Vlad versus Graves matchup. I do agree. I think that the end pick did do Tyro a little bit dirty there. Quite frankly, I was thinking that Vlad would be a strong pick earlier in the night when I went into Sean. It was probably the champion I was going to play if I had not played Fiora because he has so much sustain. That's what I was looking for when it came to my picks for uh, ARAM 1v1 was somebody who had a good amount of healing oh, in this disrespect from Dylan. Just walking up the power shot. I see you. Yeah, now taking an E and a comment from Christian. It looks a uh, Ori push tab very quickly. Uh, we have Christian changing up his start. We have Dylan going the same items with actually... I think that's same items for Dylan. Uh, Christian now with a Lost Chapter instead of a Leeching Leer, which I think could hurt him in the end. The very small amount of Omni Vamp coming off of the Leeching Leer. Sean is now streaming as well. We've got a lot going on. Again, the night has been an upset. Quite frankly, I'm liking the chat commentary from Kirsa. Shouts out Kirsa, shouts out Juice. Not a fan of WoW players. I like this one. You're one of the good ones. Don't go a little deep in there. Still an age pad. See, and we're seeing sort of the same thing that we had seen in the matchup between big na or baked nads for tonight and uh, and Sean here, which is Dylan controlling the pace of the lane. I think that might hurt Christian in the end because he can't queue any minions, meaning he can't stack and won't be getting any health back from them. Again. Just like the Robin versus Tyro fight, Lee Sin seeming like a high elo pick. A lot of skill in that champion, but just an absolutely great kit for a 1v1. Lots of vamp, he's got a slow, he's got a technically a dash. It's like a skill shot dash. I'm not really sure what to call that. A little yeah, bit of a, a walking insect play. Christian. Christian pop oh, the ignite from Dylan and Christian oh. out. we have a real victory. Absolutely amazing. Very good gameplay. Reminds me of my fight with Sean holding that ignite until they got low enough that it was just an absolute dubstep walk away. I agree, Kirsa. It was a good match. It was a good match indeed. Christian put up a good fight. Like I said, I think I think Lee Sin controlling the pace of the lane really hurt Christian in the end because he couldn't vamp off the minions. Thank you, Hunter, for uh, taking control of what's happening because I'm fucking lit. Yeah, I just hope I'm going. Uh, I, I hope I'm doing a good job. I'm. No, you're doing fine. It's just I'm really fucking drunk because I. I appreciate you for hosting the event. I appreciate Ori for being here to uh, stream to add some occasional commentary. I appreciate Sean, my former opponent, for helping stream and commentate. I'd like to talk to Dylan and Christian about that fight. Uh, Dylan, the victor of the fight, what do you think about that matchup? How did you feel playing into Christian's AP Nasus? To be honest, I don't think Leeching Lear is the play there. Uh, Again, second match, he went lost chapter with two health pots, which still maybe not the best, but uh, what do you think? I think that's really rough for Nasus. I think your wither doesn't really save you that much there because Lee Sin is just going to roll on your face anyways. I think that the champ isn't bad, but it's bad here. Coming from a diamond opinion, 
what do you think would be a strong pick into a Lee Sin 1v1? Well, honestly, I got to shout out my coach here, uh, A. Robin, and also Tyro earlier. We were doing some theory crafting on what the counter picks might be. And I think Mord is actually a pretty strong pick, at least in the early game. Lee Sin kind of struggles to break through the shield, and sure. uh, he just can't take the fight very early. I don't know if anybody had tuned into those warm-ups. I was watching the Lee Sin versus Mordekaiser, and it did seem that Mordekaiser had an early advantage, even though he has quite long cooldowns. Former Mordekaiser main, top lane when I started playing the game. Love his kid, very fun to play. Just surprising to me that Mordekaiser could inflict so much punishment to Lee Sin. But hopefully, and I mean I know it's blind, but hopefully we will see some more uh, some more bruisers happening. We've seen a lot of mage action. We've seen a lot of, I mean, we've seen our fair share of bruisers. Trevor's matchup with Garl was pretty good. I think that one was really well paced. I think that they were very patient in their moves. Uh, Christian, anything you have to say to Dylan? Um, so when I was, you know, when I was going forward, I thought like maybe Nasus could Timo because you know Timo is one of Dylan's main champions. So I was like, oh, you know, it was just a bad guess on my part. I didn't, uh, I didn't really think that he was gonna go Lee Sin again. I thought he'd go Timo or something, try to change it up a little bit. Just not good guess on my part. Yeah, and that, uh, that's the double-edged sword that is blind pick. So you know, quite frankly, I think that everybody has put up a. In Bear's work, 110% fight tonight, and I would like to see that again next Friday, provided people can make it. An absolutely huh. comfort pick for that four bucks. He is the first one I have known to play Rise and get away with it. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that Galen or anybody else. Again, yeah, I I think that there could be better organizations here. So, did you put in the stream on your back? Thank you very much, Robin. It's been very nice meeting you. I think that your performance earlier again uh, I think it's a little bit underrated. I haven't heard anybody else mention the Tyro versus Robin. I Yo, think that was an impressive match. And kind of lit, dude. I think I'm like dying. Femboy Hooters. Yes, this event has been sponsored by Femboy Hooters, of which Gabe was the manager for a period of time. Do not know why he was fired. It's up in the air. I don't think it was for good Give reasons. One Give me one second. Ignoring my duties as an announcer, have not been paying attention to the fight, but we see Big Nads a little bit lower than Christian. Christian locking CC with the EWQ combo. Uh, just absolutely doing the rise thing, proccing resets. A very interesting start from Christian with a Seeker's arm guard and a tier, as well as going inspiration for biscuits. Nads, I think, playing it a little bit safe with the sheen and long sword start. However, the electrocute and resolve secondary is not something I expected from Warwick. Uh, I think the rise pick is really smart here. I think rise is a very strong 1v1. He popped his ignite on that trade. Didn't get anything out of it. Uh, Nads sitting at roughly half HP, maybe a little bit lower, catching one of those WQ procs, or sorry, EQ procs from uh, Rise. I think Rise is a very strong pick in a 1v1. I know I already said that. I might have already said that. Again, Budweiser's catching up with me. But uh, Warwick, again, very, very good in a 1v1. Filled too many buckets, am I right? I don't... Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a Fembo Hooters reference. Very good. Ori, please, okay, just take a step around on base and stuff. <clears throat> don't uh, don't AFK. Interesting to note is that a lot of these participants haven't been abusing the Guardian items. I personally was thinking that. I don't know if you remember, but in my matchup, I went with Guardian's Hammer because I thought that the Lifesteal would be good on Fiora, and I think that they are relatively gold-efficient item. Oh, they I also, think they're the most gold-efficient you can buy. Yeah, and I think that um, I think that a Guardian item is something that is available only in the ARAM game mode. Uh, it is uh, an ARAM being this bridge that we are sitting on watching Warwick and Rise fight right now. Yep. Only available in this game mode. They all sit at around 950 gold. Um, again, like Dylan just said, Dylan, again, you are unmuted if you wanted to chime in. Very, very gold efficient item. Uh, all of them give just really good stats, in my opinion. I think that a mage starting with a guardian orb would be a good, uh, just a really good idea. It has like 150 health, 40 AP, and it might even have a little bit of CDR. It's uh, uh, definitely the best item you can start on an AP champ, and since uh, it regens mana every five seconds, 
and However, if you're, when full, you're full on mana, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it gives you health. Yeah, so I think it would be a smart play, you know, uh, to each their own, and I think that has to do with the uh, just part of the wild card aspect of these one v one scenarios. We're both level nine. Nad's down on health, but playing Warwick could easily regenerate that. Christian about half mana and didn't go for the orb. He did start a tier though, so if he starts to land more abilities, we could see mana scaling, meaning that he uh, shouldn't be so worried. Proking phase rush, Nad's easily regenerating that health just lost in the trade. Yeah, I think the Seekers is uh, really good here as well, since you know the more you farm, the more R you get. So it's going to be hard for Warwick to really, you know, burst them down. She does get some magic damage on those fangs, though. Yeah, yeah but Ryze usually wins in, like, a very extended trade and fight. So it's definitely good for him. Although the mana issues might be something that makes a play later on in the match. Like I said, Ryze, I feel a very, very safe 1v1 pick. Picked a pretty good amount in pro play. Um... A lot of tank rise builds as well because of the fact that uh, his mana and AP scaling just kind of make him a surprisingly sustainable mage. If you decide to go armor, uh, you can still pump out a decent amount of damage because he is looking for those longer trades. Again, you mentioning the fact that Naz might not be able to burst him down so well with the electrocute procs is uh, definitely going to have an impact on this fight. Dylan, Robin... Sean, if you could just take over hosting and keeping the air moving, not dead air, uh, sure. for the next, like, 15 to a minute. I actually almost thought we were about to see an all-in there by Nads. Uh, yeah, I was. I, I saw that. Thought she had the R ready and everything. Maybe not enough damage to burst down, but definitely take a chunk of health away from the rise. I mean, I think that was a good poke, regardless. Oh yeah, and she'll definitely heal it faster than Rise can. Yeah, anytime you're cutting on his HP is a good trade. We are going to have a fight over the health relic here. Oh, it yeah, looks like all right. But the switch, oh, yeah, the uh, phase rush gets him out of there. The slow actually being removed because of that rune. Yeah. Very interesting interaction. If anybody has played Fiddle, they know. You could tell that Warwick did not want to engage into the minions as well as soon as the phase rush came out. All now Nad's running low on mana too, though. Yeah, it's looking pretty close. I think the fact that uh, Rises had the uh, lane pushed up and able to control that third health re uh, relic has given him a really big advantage here. Oh, and the nutrients will certainly be up if he needs it later. Yeah, he can go back and grab the double scoop. Now it's going to grab there, get a little bit of health back. Yeah, but it only takes one misstep to get you know caught under tower. This is true, and these swipes from Warwick do heal for a good chunk. Even just yeah. one hit, the lower you are, the more healing you're going to get. Oh, can we see a fight here? Walking in with the fear again. Oh, phase yeah. rush gets him so out. Fast. Oh, flash in. The flash in. Alt. Full health oh, back on Nads. Looking good, looking good. Oh, the Ignite and Endings must come out. Rise is struggling. No, oh my oh, god! god. Oh, dude, that was epic. Sleeper pick of the century. Wow. That was... Last minute oh my god, it way too good. That was so hype. Nadia, you're insane. Oh my god. What happened? 800 yeah, healing from a single god. R press. I have come back from taking nuts. a fist. I tried to ignite before the R went off, but I couldn't do it. Oh my god. You're telling me that Baked Nads has won yet another <laughs> yes. upset match as the underdog. He Absolutely well. blown away. Nads will re be receiving a Hextech chest and a $10 Amazon no gift card way. in third place. Go. She bided her time under tower, the rise stepped up, and, you know, he got punished for it. I was hoping that the fight would be still going by the time I got back from the bathroom, because, quite frankly, I was just about to say, I think that if Nads were to step on the gas a little bit and get that R off, that it would probably turn the tables on the fight, because Rise only gets more dangerous as he gets that passive from his ult, allowing Flux to do more and more damage. We definitely Absolutely. got to see uh, how much healing Warwick had there at the end, though. I think that was uh, what did. Absolutely amazing. Moving on to our final, <laughs> final fight. <coughs> I'm getting pretty excited about this. Again, thank you to everybody for staying here, tuning in, participating. Gabe for hosting, Trevor and Gabe for giving out the prizes. It has been a very fun night. I have very, very much so enjoyed being an impromptu host. 
and I hope I have not let you down. Next time, I would like to get a little bit maybe more dressed up for the occasion, maybe be able to <laughs> shave, maybe be able to take a shower. I saw Ethan wearing a blazer and or suit jacket earlier. I think not taking a shower is kind of part of the course for an ARAM 1v1 tournament, though. It makes sense. There is, yeah. uh, I think there's been an okay amount of sweating going on here tonight. So, uh, you know, that's reasonable. Um, but, you know, uh, if I do end up hosting or announcing rather in the future, uh, it could be it could be maybe worthwhile to get a little bit more cleanly, you know? Everyone give a round of applause for Nads, please. Yeah. You deserve no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> it's only me. I'm the only one applauding. But yeah, you get the idea. Woo. My mic doesn't pick it up. It's going to okay, so we have people saying that they were applauding. So that's good enough for me. It's not all big that really nads. matters. Yeah, big nads uh, walking away with a Hextech chest and 10 Amazon dollars. 10 Bezos bucks. 10 Robux. Let's go. Before we get started now, what will you buy with your 10 Bezos box? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I might save it for something else. That's a good idea. But I don't know what I would get, no. It could be anything. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Could you get a Belle Delphine coffee mug? No. <laughs> yes, I hate yes, her. Yes. Final fight of the night. I'm absolutely ready to rumble. Cannot wait to see what's going down. <laughs> Sean, you have to see it. Okay, both players have locked in. This is going to be an interesting yes! matchup. I am hoping that this one isn't a three-minute absolute demolition. Like the fight between Dylan, whom I simp for, and Christian. I'm hoping that this one takes a little bit longer. I'm hoping that this one is a little bit more patient, because this is Ooh. the closest thing that we have to pro play tonight. I'd say I'm on the other camp. I'd love to see a three-minute uh, beatdown with uh, Dylan coming out the victory. He might be a little biased. I'm not biased. How is the quesadilla? Sloppy. Yeah. It is wet. Yep. It is sloppy. It is very good. Getting the lime from the Pico de Gallo in there. It's good. It's worthwhile. Absolutely. All right. Dylan with the aggressive posturing early on. Oh, and a good poke coming down from Galen. Oh, an instant fight back on Mord. Oh, Galen goes in all in. No, he backs up. Passive already going from Morden. A little bit yeah. of a shield. And it's. I think it could be a longer fight due to the healing from more W recast along with Tom Kench Q pokes. Yeah. Ori, do you want to actually, I don't know, somebody, yeah, push the cool button. Guardian Sworn, okay. So it's good to see people using the Guardian's item, although... Both of us have a Guardian item, boots, and three health pots. We have yeah. Dylan with an Ignite. Galen with an exhaust going grasp with uh, precision secondary. We have uh, Dylan going uh, conqueror and then resolve secondary. So we have a little bit of a flip flop kind of mirror match thing going on with the uh, with the precision and the resolve trees. Really good trade coming out from Dylan there. Absolutely punishing Galen with that passive AOE burn. Yeah, going to be big early on, and I think that the uh, the level five now, the level three advantage early from Mord's uh, magic pen from his E passive, I think that's going to make a significant difference in this game. It really is rough starting out with 1400 gold, going in, not knowing what your opponent's going to build and deal with all that. But Tom Kench being an absolutely broken champion with tons of sustain has his E that allows him to regen that gray health. Now we're both yeah. hitting six, and I don't... I don't know. I was going to say, mean, I don't see Tom Kench ult being super helpful here, but if Galen was able to land those, hit a Q, and ult at the same time, he would be able to swallow Dylan and potentially spit him out under tower, which could be yep. huge. I think that would probably be the, the big play. But uh, Galen also has to watch out if he steps too far out of lane. You know, Mord could ult him, and, you know... The extra movement speed from the boots is going to be hard to get away from that Mord passive. Oh, Galen takes the engage. They actually... They awesome. We can't oh, see. We can't, we can't see what's see. going on. Let's they are what? in the 1v1 death realm. No idea what's going on in there. Oh, Galen coming out, out with no health. Dead. He flashes away. Blasting away. He's w. He's out, dude. That is amazing. I'm absolutely blown away by that play. Not only on Dylan, but Galen's part. Oh, even Dylan sneaks in, gets an extra little bit of that relic proc. Dylan now going for tower. 
in a safe oh. mood safe move not putting all of his eggs in one basket now <laughs> emoting tom kench at tom kench going for the psychological warfare you can definitely see the benefit of not having mana where tom kench is already at one third man but dylan doesn't have to worry about that a cooldown based champion would be very strong in a 1v1 it was another champion i was considering earlier in the night was playing trendamir but it seemed a bit mm. cheesy uh, i like that though a bit broken uh he would have infinite sustain from that farm uh and q so it's it's tough get out of engages with your e slow somebody down and reduce their ad with your w it mm -hmm. it could be a very very strong 1v1 champ that we might see next friday yeah just the fact that you get five seconds of being unable to die in a 1v1 where the first death matters it's very big absolutely Absolutely big. Yeah. Gabe, our original host. Yes, peace out. Yeah, leaving. Yeah. As with, kind of seems to be the norm with most of Dylan's matchups. He's taking a very aggressive stance and pushing in the wave. Definitely seems to be working out for him here. But uh, after that first all in, it looks like Tom Kench has done a very good job sustaining back, though. That uh, that Guardian's horn on Tom Kench is going to provide some pretty serious sustain so. that's true not only, only thing... does it work like a tabby or plated steel cap but also works against abilities so we're looking at i think 15 percent damage reduction from attacks and abilities which is big into mordekaiser there is a lot of weaving on more yeah. those auto attacks do end up hurting uh and quite frankly I think that Dylan might be seeing all of that sustain from stacking his passive on his W, casting and recasting. He has resolve secondary, and it makes me think that he might have gone a cheeky revitalize in there to make oh, that. Oh, for sure. I can tell you that that rune, is, bit uh, more. that rune is busted in 1v1s with the champs. Absolutely yeah. love both of these champions. Play them quite a bit myself. Again, I played a lot of Mord top lane. He was my main when I started learning how to play the game. Tom Kench I moved to a little bit later when I started to main support and have taken him top lane a couple of times, not to my benefit, but he is a very good champion, a lot of sustain. That health that health damage oh, on his know. on hit and passive on his Q. Super, super sick. They're fighting under tower. Galen coming out oh, with about him. half health. Excellent move by Tom just Kench. a tiny bit more. That gray health will put Tom up back to <laughs> right around where Mord is sitting at. Uh, both level here. 11. Uh, the fact that he ate him during the ult I think is huge because Mord doesn't get that extra damage for the entirety of the engage fight. But I think the uh, the Guardian's Horn might come back to hurt him if this game goes uh, a bit later. I just don't know if he'll have the damage to break through Mord's sustain. Uh, could we get a, a CS look? See how those are stacking up? Yeah, quick tab, or. 62 oh, from Mordekaiser, for 44 Dylan. from Tom Kench. Uh, yeah. Dylan is, I think, controlling the pacing of the lane a little bit more. I think it might be a little bit easier for him as Mordekaiser. Tom Kench yeah. does not have the best wave clear, especially without items. Especially when it gets shoved under tower, too. It's much harder to leverage those minions when you don't have the items to give you more damage to kill them. And this is not a normal game where you could usually just sit under tower, farm carefully, and hope that your opponent is taking a nice, safe back. Yep. Uh, this is a 1v1. This is ARAM. You don't go back unless you die, and if you die in this game, you are out. We are now competing for 30 Bezos bucks, a $30 equivalent Amazon gift card in the form of a $20 Amazon gift card, $10 Amazon gift card that was not planned by Trevor, who is now co-sponsoring the event. Yeah, big shout out to Trevor. Yes, my brother. He is cool. He's sitting there. I see his dog in the background. Gonna take a quick peek at him. Uh, I see Shiva <laughs> just laying on the floor, being a cute husky, gonna tune back into the action. Oh, wait. Hello? There we go. My mic oh. is unmuted. Is this the <laughs> top three looking... right here? This is the final fight. This is for the absolute Biscuit, dude. This Dylan is getting a little crazy. toxic in all chat. It's Galen against fucking. 
another <laughs> mortal, the third mortal we have seen yes. this fight. Eight, almost nine. Oh, we got eaten. We got eaten. We're under tower. Oh, Galen, solo. Oh my god. Oh, he fakes him out. He fakes him out. Juking out <gasps> Dylan. Absolutely oh amazing. God. What we in the game would call a five head play. I think Dylan's playing with his food. <laughs> you fight. <laughs> I think he has yeah, to pick yeah. of the litter. What he could get fuck? CS win, he could get the tower win, he could get the first blood. He is absolutely right. hammering on that tower with four minions, yeah. getting it so, so oh. close. Galen going in, trying to push him away, and just... Yeah. I agree. I think Mark okay. down lane. here comes Mark Pizza running down, down, down lane, and sitting in the bush. This is an accident. This is not meant to happen. Ori trying to correct right now, uh, allowing Dylan to become a little bit distracted and Galen to uh, to, to look for a play. He's going in for the fight. Forces the flash from Dylan. A flash into a <laughs> oh my fucking Absolutely God. beautiful. The pass is burning. Galen is getting really low. Pops oh. the E shield and then he has gets. Yes, the the minions though, and there it absolutely is. Absolutely oh, crazy. Him in the end. Dylan comes out on I didn't top. Even get to see this fight. Fucking, what a fucking amazing. Fuck. Ten minute fight. I think that was very, very beautifully played by both people. That fake out. The fuck. W under Mordekaiser back towards the tower. Super amazing. <laughs> I forgot who to. Was third? Who was third? Who was third? It was Big Nads. I had Big Nads, yeah. Wow, that was impressive. He almost had me with that juke with the E or W. At the end there, I finally, like, I had enough health to maybe 1v1. Yeah, it was hard because the onus was on you since the, the CS lead in the tower were getting, getting up there. Well, what really fucked me that I was not expecting, I couldn't one-shot minions after two tower hits. Yeah, that's the one part where you don't get to go back and get items. It just, like, if I was an AD champ, maybe I would've. But GG, that was fun. GG, yeah, fun one. In the end, we have Galen coming out second, looking at a $10 Amazon gift card along with a mystery skin. Dylan coming out on top with 30 Bezos bucks. Absolutely amazing. A 10 minute game to rule them all. I think that was fantastic. I think I would love to see this event happen again in the future. I probably yep, next won't Friday, be next drinking Friday, next it time. Will be. I can't tell you what the prize pool will be for next Friday because I have no idea. I don't know if there will even be one. I think that this has been a lot of fun. I've been absolutely standing Dylan since the beginning. Gail, uh, Gabe put out the straw poll asking who we think would win. I voted for Dylan because I have heard he is cracked. Very, very big ups to Dylan and uh, Robin Dylan. and Tyro for showing up totally what? unprompted. Just out of the blue. That's your $10 code. I'll bracket. buy it. Final update on the bracket showing the winners for anybody that wanted to see the proof in the pudding. You're looking at Dylan in first, Nadia, right? Dylan in second, Nadia. I already, yeah, third. I already did Nads. Right, Thank so you second? to Galen, the right? only audience member, effectively, who tuned in, Kirsa. Woo! It was nice to meet you, too. I have seen you uh, occasionally in the very brief periods of time that I was in Juice and Borealis Basin. I have no idea who you are still, uh, but you have added good audience commentary for the entire event. Again, shout out to the oh, Weeb Squad. Yeah, I, did. I have been simping for, well, I have been going from the beginning. I hope uh, I could eventually be on a level where I could play the game of League of Legends with him. Big oh, thank you to graves. Trevor. Big thank you to Gabe for coming up with the idea and hosting the invitational. Big ups to Ori for giving us his perfect streams with his landlord's Wi Fi. Oh. Again, big ups to Dylan, Robin, uh, Tyro for showing up unprompted last minute. I think that made it really fun. Uh, big ups to Bear for giving his 110% and only <laughs> that. Uh, I think it was fun. I think that it was a success. I hope that we could get more people. I hope that we could get Gabe's stream to work so maybe the people on Twitch could see something. True! I think that... Um, I think that it was fun. I think that I would genuinely like to host it again if I was re-invited to do that. I enjoyed updating the bracket for people. Uh, Dylan, join our Discord server so you know if we're going to post. You don't have to go in there. There was right rumor now. that this was supposed to have been recorded entirely uh, by somebody. 
I don't know if anybody recorded the entire thing on OBS through streams or Discord streams or anything like that, but... Um, Drake was doing it. I, I believe Drake so did. Drake did indeed do it. I don't know if that's going to be posted to Drake's channel or Gabe's channel or both. Uh, Dylan, uh, I invited you to our server if you ever just want to like pop in. Yeah, I joined it. Okay. Absolutely great. Maybe we could get a little bit of uh, a third text channel going for bracket updates. Uh, maybe yeah, we're going to figure it. out a bunch of shit. Like, I might be able to just, just do that. This is just a trial. Like, this is the first time we've ever done this. So. Yeah, I might be able to do that in event info. Um, again, thank you to Ori for not only providing his superior Wi-Fi for streaming, but on top of it, being willing to agree to host and give any form of con uh, commentary on a game that he does not play, has no idea how it really works and who any of the champions are. Um, and uh, big nads again, baked nads for stepping in, being high off her rocker, and just upsetting the entire game by taking out Sean, by taking out. Or, or Wait, she won one v one against Sean. Yeah, she won v one Sean actually, and then she had to do third place fight against Christian and won. Hence, her receiving ten Bezos bucks and the hextech chest. So did I send that to you, Nadia, already? Oh yeah, you did. Thank you. I'm kind of lit. All right, we'll figure out the prizes tomorrow, I guess. I'm fucking... We can all join Rooster Ranch G if you guys want now. GG, buddies. That was awesome. G -G. It's true. Big Nads now able to land yeah, skill shots. Uh, it's been huge. It's been very, very uh, big in her favor. New PC, really helping out Big Nads. Yes, no longer really helping. At 20 frames a second. I'd like to give a thank you to my coach, Robin. Helped me with the 1v1s, did a lot of theory crafting with me to figure out what the good picks were. Sad to see him go in the first round, especially against such a good friend like Tyro. But Yeah, the, the CS uh, loss kind of snuck up on me there. Wasn't prepared for it. The little, literal turtle by Udyr. Yeah, the turtle stance. Um, Man's is just unkillable. How about that really tough Silas? That was a, good, that was a tough one. <laughs> I wish I had somebody to thank, but I don't think anybody was supporting me. Honestly, also true. when I saw the br initial bracket and I saw that you were my round one, like I even, I think I said it to Robin. I was like, I think my hardest game is my first game. Yeah, well, <laughs> I said to Gabe, it was like, like don't have us, don't like have a, that, have that be a few rounds in. Who won? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think won, buddy? It's Morbin time. Filled too many buckets, am I right? Later, bitch.